introduce you to a Shoreline resident who is still living in a rental one year later. He still can't return home. What it will take to repair his house tonight at 5 on NBC Connecticut. And where am I looking for? Good morning, everybody. Time for Market Monday on this blustery October day. Uh, we have some special friends here from Freund. This is Teresa and Matt. Thank you very much for coming in. How was the drive from Litchfield County? Um, we are not accustomed to traffic. We don't have <laughs> problems like that. Well, oh, you've got tractors on those small roads. <laughs> That's right. You have to watch out for that. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming in from Canaan. Yes. Uh, and you have just a, I pass it all the time. If you go on 44, you pass Freund's all the time. And it just is so enticing. And I always thought, you know, what is in there? And I went in there and I, I realized everything. So I want you guys to show and tell a little bit some of the great things going on. And then we'll get to the cow pods because this is really, really interesting. So, Teresa, what do you have here? Well, one of the things that's important for everyone to know is that we really are farmers. Yes. And so um, this morning we ran out and, and cut some broccoli because later on we're going to demonstrate broccoli salad. Yeah, which they're famous for, by the way. And because we do a lot of um, prepared foods and catering, and and at Thanksgiving time we can't cook enough potatoes. But but we're still picking our own tomatoes, so we've got our. That's um, amazing. Yeah. That's late so we there. have we have wow. a we have a greenhouse grown tomatoes. So oh, okay. Believe it or not, I've we start the them in cow pots and they end up as a tomato. But um, this time of the year, we're doing all of our different winter squashes. So you can see that we have our big winter squash, the Waltham Butternut, but we also have the more family size, two person kind of uh, butternut. But we have acorn and we have uh, Mead's maple syrup. So we have a lot of local vendors that were local farmers. So we've got Kathy Blackshaw's honey from Sharon. From Sharon. I've yep. heard of that actually. So Kathy does well really known. clever little packaging. Oh, it's really, really, and really cute. And winter mead has gotten really into really beautiful glass uh, maple syrup. So not only is it edible, but it's like a gift. Well, and I love your beautiful pies, by the way. They are oh, yeah. so good. Well, and, and we're starting to do all kinds of different cookies. And we do our jams and our pickles and our plum gumbo. So and chicken butt pies, which are mm, to die yeah. for. So you mentioned things start in the cow pots. Now, these actually got you some national interest, right? Right, right. We were trying to do an environmental thing with our farm, trying to do our nutrient management. And we came up with this product called cow pots, where we can export the nutrients to our city cousins in a way they would like. And they're really just, you know, hot commodities, right? Yeah. People have heard about them in New York City and beyond, all yeah. really all around the world. World, I'm sure at this point. Yep, and we're doing very well with them, and it's basically a really neat concept. It's something your plant can eat, put it in the ground, it disappears, so it's a nice product. And so, what is it made from? It is made from the cow manure. It is made from manure, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Let's just go there. Food and manure. We, we, did, we did kind of separate <laughs> them on the table. Yes, right, see, right, we, right. Well, uh, if people want more information on the cow pots, you've got some on your website, right? Yes, cowpots.com is a place to look on the website. We also sell them to local garden centers and hardware stores and things of that nature. Fantastic. It's, so. a, it's such a great thing. Thanks for sharing that. And, Teresa, we're going to go in the kitchen a little bit later yes. and make your broccoli salad, right? Yes. I cannot wait for that. And the recipe, we're going to give it to you, too. She's going to share. In the meantime, we're going to come right back after this. Have you been done?